it is actually like stepping back in time as we walk around here, isn't it? It's so... Yeah, it's lovely. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Architecture. But can you just, you can almost hear the chanting from the monks as you, you know, just walk around. You can even see the... I think there's one in Kilkenny called the Black Abbey as well. There is, yeah. And we were there actually. That is on my channel. That is the top of the mausoleum, guys. I mean, that's just amazing. That blows my mind. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're in Adair in County Limerick. Now it's taken us over three hours to get here. Um, two car accidents on the way up so we've had to uh, go on diversions all over the place and the traffic is extremely bad so um, I'm glad to get here and I'm going to bring you inside. This is St Nicholas's Church, Church of Ireland and it was also known as the Black Abbey. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it now. So the monastery was founded in 1315 by John Earl of Kildare. It became known as the Black Abbey because the monks wore black habits. The Augustians owned almost 80 acres of land, several cottages and gardens in the village and a fishing weir on the river. The abbey was attacked and plundered during the 1500s at a time when monasteries were being attacked around the country. It was restored in 1807 by the Earl of Dunraven and was given to the Protestants in the village as a church. It is still used by the Church of Ireland community for workshop. Now there's three vaulted rooms inside, a cloister, a guard, a court, and there's actually a mausoleum in here to the Quinn family. So come on, let's go on in and take a look. Now there's actually a national school attached to um, St. Nicholas's now as well. But I'm going to bring you on in here. And this brings us into what I believe is the cloisters. Oh wow, look at this. The ceilings. Now we have something wrote here. Let's take out the torch. Memory of John Hogan. Wow, that is extremely hard to read. I see 1847 down at the bottom. Died March 16th, 1847. Um, it's that old. I think it says. Writing. Who faithfully served for 14 years. Countess Caroline, is it? Oh, yeah, Countess, Countess of, of Dun. Dunraven, I think. Dunraven, yeah. And we spoke about that a second ago. 16th of March, 1847. 1847. So I'm glad now we brought the torch actually. With more. Just here. In memory of John. Gosh, that right, and I find that hard. John, who is, is that Cook at? As Cook at, at Adair Manor. Adair Manor. 1848. Now, Adair Manor is just literally over the road from us, and it's actually owned by famous horse owner. J.P. McManus. J.P. McManus. A billionaire. Yeah, look at this, guys. Look at the structure. Isn't it just the most beautiful place? And actually what I can see out there is a tiny little cross. And what I believe is, um, would that be a grave slab, like a tomb slab? And also a cross there. But do we get out there? I'm not sure. There's more of these here. In memory of William Mortal. For 29 years, the... Is it something servant of William Earl of Dunraven. Dunraven. 
1845. I'm just not sure what that says. This is stone, it's all etched into it. It's absolutely beautiful, but very hard to read. I don't know why I'm whispering really. <laughs> Another one here in memory of Elizabeth. Staten, I think, for seven years, the valued and something housekeeper at Adair Manor, 1836. Respected, I'm, I'm sure that says respected there. And we've one here as well. We've an old sign actually here as well. Church entrance, it says. That does look very old. In memory of Anne Boriston for 25 years of faithful and um, something servant oh, of Caroline, yeah. Countess of Dunraven as well, 1832. Unsure. It is hard to read it, isn't it? We've got steps going up there. I'm really, really, this like, it's just, wow, we do have steps going up, look at that. Are we allowed up there? What does it go up to even? Like timber up at the very, very top. Is there any point in going up? You know I have to go up. Shine that light at my feet. I think it's closed off. It is closed off, but wow, this brings us out to the, like, little um, courtyard there. Seems to be picnic benches and stuff. There is a, a door there. Imagine somebody knocked. <laughs> okay, this is the bit I always hate is coming back down. Ooh. And the steps, I'm telling you now, the steps are so narrow, aren't they? You have to kind of walk. It must have had small feet back then. <laughs> I have small feet. <laughs> I can't fit them into the step. What are we like? <laughs> I'm just holding GV's arm coming down. These are absolutely stunning though. I really hope. Just half the light for a sec. Look at that guys. The lovely green. Yeah, the, the green off the stone. It's just fabulous. And into this little courtyard. It's like a private burial area there. Is How did we get out? It's there just doesn't seem to be a door out. Wow, we have a, a door to door up there in the church. So this goes right around in a circle here. Like a little room there. Oh, it's a pity we can't seem to get out there. I'm expecting to go around the corner and see a door. Look at this. Oh wow. Just turn here oh. This slab marks the resting place of Thomas something. Quinn. So he's one of the Quins. Oh, the Quins are in the mausoleum they, here. They were the part but of it's the look, gardens, I'm I just think. going to see if I can show you. I'm not sure what kind of birds they are. And we have two little... I'm not sure what they are either, actually, on either side. We see the crown. And like um, a crest or something. There's a sun on the crest, even. But those birds are very intriguing. I'm not sure what they are. It's a pity we can't get in there. But obviously that's a private little burial place, maybe. So it goes right around in this circle. Right back up to where we were. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. I think there might be something on uh, find a grave here of the Quins. I know the sure. Quins, yeah. There's definitely... Um, information about the quins oh wow look at this guys oh, they are beautiful this must be the mausoleum, isn't it? do you know what her hair reminds me of what's that um the story of the woman she had snakes all in her hair medusa medusa her hair kind of reminds me of that i know they're supposed to be curls but that's the impression she's given me there like serpents for her hair and then we have another one there They're, are their facial expressions exactly the same? I'm sure they are. But in here, guys, is the mausoleum to the Quins. Now this says, My son, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Now unfortunately this place is locked. 
but I will be able to give you a quick glimpse. I'll put in my gimbal. Wow, look at the size of that. Oh my goodness. Crypt. Oh wow, look at that guys. You can probably see better now. Look at that. And there's splits there. Yeah, there is slits in the... Do you know what it reminds me of? It's an awful thing to say. It's like a, an oven. Do you know the old ovens years ago? That's what it reminds me of. But obviously, the quins are buried in here. And if we take a look at this side, wow, look at that. They have all those niches. We have empty niches up there as well. So I do wonder, will more family? I'm just going to zoom in for a little bit. See you just I don't see any names on them. I'm trying to give you the first and I can't really get the torch in. But there's three there at the bottom. And then I believe there's probably three more up over it. Wow, look at that. That is amazing, isn't it? It's a huge mausoleum. It looks like that it was part of the... Oh, it was. It was part of the, the, the abbey. They made it into a mausoleum. Originally. Like, that's the... I can't even show you the roof. It goes... There it is. That's how high up it goes. Like, these must be wealthy, wealthy family. Like, the Quinns must be wealthy to... Um, I'm just going to see if I can get up along here. I'm just trying to manoeuvre everything, guys, so just bear with me for a sec. Let's try and get a better look in here. Look at the empty space that's over that, like. And this is the front of it. It's all red neck and brick, the whole. Beautiful, like. Wow. Pity we can't get in there, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Can you imagine looking in? I'm just going to zoom back out again. I just can't believe it, like, that is something else. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before, ever. It's quite amazing. So there is niches empty and the There ones, is empty niches there, yeah. The ones down below are. So just to show you guys, so it is locked up. It's actually double padlocked. But that is something else. That is like... Like, if I stand right back over here, just to show you how huge this place is like. And I'm even intrigued. Look and at the, the work. Oh, yeah, hold on. I'll have to go this way. Guys, you're going to have to excuse the bad camera work. Um, I've just been trying to kind of put you through the, the metal bars there. Look at that. That is, that is just beautiful, isn't it? And our little angels. They do have slightly different facial expressions. Her the eyes seem to be closed. Yeah, but her eyes seem to be closed. This one. And then... This one, her eyes are open. Both of them are holding a shield with the cross on it. So this was well worth our, what was supposed to be two and a half hour drive to get here and uh, ended up being nearly three, three and a half, nearly four, just as I said. Unfortunately, somebody had an accident and we were, we had to do a detour and then we came across another accident Everybody seemed to be fine, thank God. So this was a little room off the, the cloisters. So these are just areas. Oh, look at that. The original roof. Just turn off the light for a sec. It's not going to show up great. If I put on my own flash for a second, I'll see if they are there. So that's like a clay roof. With kind of like... Um, Mud, I suppose, mud and um, sometimes reeds, sometimes bamboos. And it was just woven in around to create that structure. So that is still there, guys. So as I said, you can just imagine and get a feel of the place and the monks as they, um, they walked around in here in those black, the, the long black um, clothing they wore. Um, I would love to, really, really would love to get out there and video that 
just to see it. That beautiful um, tomb there. It's absolutely stunning, but as I said, I might get a picture on Find a Grave. I know there is more information about them in um, the mausoleum and with photos as well. And they were possibly were attached to a deer manor. What do you think? No, I don't know what that is, actually. Some source of power. Oh, it's old, isn't it? Electricity. I don't think I'd be touching that. It doesn't look the safest, does it? But maybe there was lights. There's certainly not lights here now. And that door, that would have went out as well. You see, that's all bricked up as well. But you can see, guys, just how beautiful the cloisters are. So well preserved. And I'm sure there has been extensive repair work. Actually, look. Here. Florence Enid Quinn, born 1870, died. July 1891, just there. So I'm sure that's who's on the, who owns that cross there, maybe. It's very hard for you to see it there, but it's Florence Enid. I'm um, not sure the middle name, and then Quinn. And that's obviously then, whoever is interred here is actually in the mausoleum. There's more family members of the, the mausoleum. Just look at that. And it is a wet, horrible, cold day here in Adair County Limerick it is actually like stepping back in time as we walk around here isn't it it's so yeah it's lovely it's, it's beautiful, beautiful. Architecture. but can you just you can almost hear the chanting from the monks as you you know just walk around you can even see the... I think there's one in Kilkenny called the Black Abbey as well. There is, yeah. And we were there, actually. That is on my channel. That is the top of the mausoleum, guys. I mean, that's just amazing. That blows my mind how huge One it is. big building for maybe four, four or five people. Four people. Maybe they're hoping... I don't know. Maybe there is other people hope, that are hoping to be buried in there. It's hard to know. So a dare manor is literally, oh, we might be able to see it actually from here. We have a huge golf course just that runs the whole way along there. And just between the trees, just there, that's a dare manor, as I said, owned by J.P. McMahon. It's a very famous um, horse owner and trainer, very well known here in Ireland. Also had a in Manchester United. Oh right! Actually, I didn't even see these as we walked in. Look at that! Those are also original to the to the Abbey or Saint Nicholas's Church. It's a Pegasus there, the horse with wings. Is it? I can hardly see. I can see an acorn in the, an acorn's leaf. Oh yes, Pegasus. Yeah. So it's over here then. We have like three. Is it? What are they? Um, Are they wolf's heads or I don't could know? Be an arm holding a dagger, kind of. Look. No, it looks to me like it's. Oh, I don't know. I might, might see it in edit, but to me it looks like it's an animal. Yeah, and then the faces on either side. So they probably represent some saints or something like that. Right? Or possibly a monk, or maybe. A monk, yeah. That one could be a monk, but I'm not sure about this guy. He wears a crown. Could be Saint Patrick. St. Nicholas? St. Nicholas, yeah. Maybe. You can hear the crows there at the top. I'm going to actually just turn around. Look at the traffic, guys. It's completely at a, a standstill there. Look at this, guys. Now, unfortunately, I don't think the church is actually open. Isn't it beautiful? And once again, the mausoleum there. Would you believe, guys, we were nearly leaving and we said we'd walk around the very far side of St. Nicholas's Church and I think the door might be open. Let's have a look. Hope so. Oh, yes. Okay.
But look at the beautiful windows. And the, the camera just doesn't do them justice, really. The colours are just magnificent. I'll leave another beautiful one just down here. I might be able to show it's, you. Uh, the window over there is working. Right. Mm -hmm. oh. I really love Dunraven. So the Earls of Dunraven must so have obviously okay. had a lot to do with this church and supported it um, financially, I'd say, as well. And um, probably donated funds to get these beautiful windows and this beautiful organ, I'd imagine. Look at that. Wyndham Thomas is the grave that's outside. Of yeah, so they're all connected. In thankful remembrance of Betty Goldsmith, 2007, for her generosity to this church and her many years as organist. So Betty Goldsmith was an organist here and they've remembered her, which is really, really nice. Look at the timber on that. Right, I'm going to have a quick look at the very, very top of the church. Oh, wow. This is the baptismal font. Like a little separate area here, a little desk and all. Look at the floor. Wow. In honour of God and loving memory of Augusta, Vivian, Mary, Smith, Barry and Edith, Windham Quinn. This window was erected by their brother and sister. Wow, look at that. So obviously the Windham, Windham Quinn, that's who's in the mausoleum. And um, most of these windows were donated or erected by that family. So obviously a huge part to play in this church. And we see their name there again directed by their children and the same name again. This is Earl and Countess Dun of Dun Raven, Edwin and Augusta. But look at this guys. Beautiful colour. Oh it's just gorgeous, look at that. I wonder did that come from, a lot of stained glass comes from Munich and Germany. Yeah. That is beautiful, isn't it? Gosh, look at the detail in that. And then underneath then the altar. Wow. So a lot of these are for the Countess of Dunraven, her elder daughter. We have Eliza Vosbury here, 1876. This one is in memory of Captain, the Honourable Wyndham Henry, younger son of the second Earl of Dunraven and formerly of the Grenadier Guards, maybe, in which regiment he served during the Crimean campaign. 1854-1855, born at Adair Manor, 1829, died at Folkestone, October 1865, and his widow Caroline then is remembered there as well. Wow. We have some sort of, wow, look at that. The word, that's, I thought first it was painted on the wall. I don't think it is. Quite hard to show you. Do you know what that reminds me of? The crest that's on the tomb, the two birds, the two crown. Birds, yeah. The Pegasus. Do you know what they're like? They're like jackdaws. And there's chains on, on them. On them as well. And there was a chain on, on the tombstone. So that must be the crest of the Quinn. Or maybe the ravens. It's ravens. There could be, yeah, or jackdaws. I'm just not quite sure. It's very hard to show you because it's so high up. There's a memorial plaque just down here. 
Oops, sorry about the camera work, guys. In loving memory of Richard Sudwell, Wyndham Quinn, 6th Earl of Dunraven and Mount Earl, born in India, 13th of May, which is my birthday, 1887, died at Kilgobbin Adair in 1965, and his wife Nancy, who was the 6th Countess of Dunraven and Mount Earl, born in the United States of America. Wow. Died March 1994, so not that awful long ago, really. But uh, yeah, so it's a huge family. Wind, W Y N D H A M, Windham Quinn. And uh, obviously, you know, this was their church where they came to Mass, and um, obviously donated and erected windows in memory of um, others in that family. It's quite amazing. And then buried just outside with that window is just, even from here, the colours. Right, so guys, I'm going to finish the video here just inside St. Nicholas's Church of Ireland. What an amazing place, from the cloisters to that mausoleum, and then inside, most of the same family that are in the mausoleum are actually remembered inside, and uh, obviously they kind of um, donated a lot of their time and their money to uh, the windows and those beautiful memorials just inside there. But for now, guys, if you like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and that will let you know when I upload next. Give the video a like as well. It really, really helps push out the videos. But for now, guys, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you all again soon.